Hey YouTube, so I have the throttle body removed with the four bolts right here and make sure make sure you remember where the original settings are for these or otherwise you have to recalibrate but just a thought I'm having an error 71 code error on the 1994 FZJ Land Cruiser and just clean out the throttle body hopefully we'll get rid of that error I did replace the um, EGR, brand new Toyota modulator, still throwing in air. I also did the O2 sensors on the bottom, brand new from Toyota, still errors. So my next guess would be the VSV, which is this little guy, like $100 or so, Toyota. And the hardest part is to get this thing changed, and Toyota manual the service manual says to remove the plenum here which is a lot of work but since we have access to it here let me see if I can zoom in so you could see you can remove this you unplug this and just hang it let it dang on the bottom and just leave that rigid in there if that's another way to go about doing it as you can see it sits like this it sits like this there's a plug here and there's a plug there as you can see and then the other one is right here so you just have to route it and let it dang in there maybe tie it down with a tie wrap or something in case you need to replace it again um, that way you don't have to remove this whole plenum and that's a lot of work so I'm going to try that see if that would fix my error code so everything is pretty much replaced um, there's nothing else left to replace cost me like six seven hundred dollars in parts alone but uh, so here we are so I think there's another way to get to it uh, without having to move the two brackets and the two bolts on the bottom it was still hard to get your socket in there so I'm just gonna unplug this unplug that plug it into this guy and let it hang up the bottom somewhere and I'm gonna try to find a way to strap it down um, strap it down here somewhere and just reconnect it like this the brand new part so that way if you have to replace it again it's just a matter of recon reconnecting the parts um, and let it sit right here you can see or you get a longer tube which i may do so that way it hangs down there further and then i can tie it so i think that's one way to get to it and it's easier to do it with the, the throttle body out you get your access to it and it's easy to clean the throttle body and you don't have to take the whole uh, intake metaphor on the top so hopefully that will take care of it. I will uh, get back to you guys with this pass log. But what I did is I clean out the hole here inside, took this hose out and sprayed it across. There's a lot of gunk in there. What I did is took a rag in here and let it soak up all the um, carbon that gets removed. So you can see it's a lot cleaner now. Uh, not as bad. You see from there so there you have it i think that's another option to replace the uh, vsv valve on the toyota land cruiser without having to take out the intake manifold and i will let you know if that works and how i go about doing it just remember when you take it out there are fluids here just get a bucket at the bottom so it doesn't leak out and there's another one right there we will drain up to the floor but you don't have to drain your um, radio fluid for that. So I hope that helps anybody who's having the same problem. I probably would have uh, just cleaned out the EGR here instead of buying a brand new one. It was, that would have fixed it. Same thing with the modulator. Um, really, but I think the culprit is this VSV valve that gets clogged and possibly the O2 sensor, but O2 sensor was replaced and a, a brand new one didn't fix the problem. So I think this is the last thing I'm going to attempt. Alright, so there you have it. Good luck. Hey YouTube, so here's a follow-up uh, video on my check engine light issue where I was getting an error 71 on the diagnostics. This is a 1994 FZJ80 and uh, the last video I shared with you guys, I had to remove the intake manifold to do some cleaning and decarbonizing the, the area. So while I was doing that, I realized I had access to the 
vacuum switching valve because as you know from the uh, service manual you have to remove this whole intake manifold which requires a lot of work and it's quite difficult to remove that from the back so what I did was I uh, instead of um, removing this I took out the intake manifold cleaned it out there's four bolts from the video that I share with you guys um, you can remove that clean it out and then you can have access to the this side of the intake to remove the hoses and the plug so that what I did here is I put the vacuum switching valve here and I extended the hoses to reach out to this far and what I did was I um, used a wire cable to mount that here so that if I ever need to replace this again it wouldn't be too difficult I would just have to unplug it and I have two hoses to remove one here and one in the back as you can see and so with that change um, it fixed my check engine light Every other issue that I did from the replacing a brand new Toyota OEM EGR valve, um, the modulator O2 sensor did not fix the problem. This was the culprit. And instead of removing this whole intake manifold, I just removed the, um, the air box here, all the hoses, then removed those cables for the throttle cables. And then there are four bolts over here that you can remove to take out the intake. Uh, the throttle body and then clean it out and so that's how I was able to install the uh, vacuum switching valve which is often called VSV and uh, I mounted a strap to here and so so far I've been driving it for about 100 miles no more check engine light went to the freeway 3000 rpm I mean 2800 rpm no problem either and so you can see it's all mounted here secured very little wiggle room but at least now I can access it when I need to and replace it if it ever goes out. So just want to share that with you guys. It's a good fix. Probably should have just done that instead of replacing the O2 sensor because I could have just cleaned it out and, instead of replacing a brand new one. Same thing with EGR. You could probably clean it out with um, chemical uh, like carbon choke cleaner or something like that. It can clean out the valve if it's still good. Um, but other than that, I think it fixed the problem. So I just want to share that tip with you guys who have the same car with the check engine light, the P0401 for the newer ones or the uh, AR71 for the older 93 to 94 FZJ. So good luck with y'all. See, see, see you in the next video.